Senior Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions Maxine Jackson established that the proposal is for specific amendments to the Sexual Offenses Act so that certain family relationships are recognized even when there is no blood relation. She gave details that the proposal would include widening the category of persons who would be considered parents and relatives even under circumstances where children are adopted. We are going to be making a formal recommendation having regard to what other countries have, as I've indicated, New Zealand, um, Kenya, and Tanzania, um, where they have those provisions. And we also are asking, because though we have a Sexual Offenses Act of 2009, we believe it's very important to also capture certain first classes of persons who are usually left out. For example, in other jurisdictions, a stepfather could be, can be charged for an incest. As a person who, a man who lives in a cohabited relationship with a woman, not marrying that woman, can also be charged with incest. And also, most fundamentally, we want to ensure that these persons who are in a familial relationship, whether they're being a ward or foster parent, that they be given discreet rights. She noted that other countries have gone ahead with these laws to either include other familial relationships or to also make it explicitly clear that adopted children, foster parents, stepchildren comes under the provision of incest and whether and other familial relationships because they usually perform parental responsibilities in relation to that child. And so it's very important that you capture these, um, these, these provisions, capture the true essence of the relationship. The proposal stems from a recently concluded case in the St. James Circuit Court where a businessman was freed of sexual offense charges. The man was charged with incest in relation to alleged offenses committed with his adopted daughter, which took place several years ago when she was a teenager. However, the case was dismissed on a technical point of law because she was not a blood relative, so incest could not be proven. Ms. Jackson explained that the case gave rise to an important point of law which should be addressed. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.